I wish I knew these things before taking step two. Things like what to avoid and what to do. But I have learned from my experience and now I want to share some tips with all of you. What's up fellow sapiens and welcome to another eye-catching episode. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Neo and I am an international medical graduate from Cyprus. I took the USMLE step two this February as a second attempt and I got accepted for an ophthalmology residency in Israel at the Hadassah Medical Center. But behind every success story, there's a story of disappointment. And in my case, my first attempt in taking the step two examination didn't go smoothly as I expected it to. I didn't manage to score what I aimed for and I didn't take step one, which made the step two even harder. So the main reason I'm making this video is to help all the future step two takers avoid mistakes that I did. I will point out seven things that you need to pay attention and make sure you watch number five. It is the most important of all. Starting with an obvious but important tip is do not underestimate the exam. This is especially true for the international medical students and graduates. Step two is the hardest of all step exams. It is an exhausting marathon of nine hours. And it turns out that they have made the exam the most important criteria to compare the students. This translates to step two being the most crucial exam and the exam that you should pay the most attention to. Those who take step one get to know how the USMLE exam feels like. So by taking step one will help you to prepare and achieve a higher score in step two. Around 50% of the knowledge from step one is used for step two. So do not underestimate the exam. You need to prepare well ahead. You need to know everything by heart and have that critical thinking. And having said this, it brings me to the second point, which is make a study plan. A study plan is the most important thing you should do to prepare for step two exam. Don't even think of saying, okay, I will study some neurology today and see how it goes because it will not end well. I, and I am talking from experience. Everyone should plan and create a realistic study schedule. Set the time that you need to learn a topic and practice and solve questions. Plan when to take your self-assessment test. Make your own study plan. And if you need help in creating such a study plan or choosing the right resources, you can watch my video in the link below where I share for free my study plan and comment on the resources I have used. I hope it helps. Creating a plan is one thing, but sticking to your plan is a whole different story. And number three is do not procrastinate and stick to your plan. It is so easy to lose track of time when you study from a book or watch a video. It is also so easy to get stuck in a specific topic and say, I will catch up with my plan tomorrow or next week. It happened to me and I'm sure it happens to everyone. We get to postpone our study plan further and further, but you need to stick with your study plan and you need to do it now, otherwise it will pile up. The learning period for step two can take ages. If you ever feel that you are left behind, make a note of it and move on. You will encounter everything again and again multiple times and all your queries will become clear as you move on and solve questions. So try to keep track as much as you can. Number four is to take a self-assessment early in the course of your studies. There are three new NBME forms available now, numbers 9, 10, and 11. Plus two more from UL, it makes it totally five. Please don't leave them all for the end. Sacrifice at least one of them early in the course of your studies to get to know your strengths and weaknesses. That's the whole point of this test, to see which topics you need to study more and where to pay attention to. Don't worry about your score here. It is meant to be low since you haven't even finished studying yet. And most preferably, take the self-assessments in this order. Number uh, NBME forms number nine, 10, and 11. Somewhere in between, take the UL self-assessment number one and leave uh, for the end, few days before the exam, the most predictive one, which is UL self-assessment two. And here comes number five, which is focus on solving questions in test mode. And allow me to go deep. People act based on their feelings. Either they do something because it will provide them with positive feelings like happiness, or they don't, they don't do it to avoid any negative feelings associated with the act. And in this case, solving blocks of questions in UWorld world in time mode is a stressful action that most of us would like to avoid. If you understand this, then you will know that you only need to push in the beginning and then it will become a flawless habit. 
And why should you do this? Because you need to make your practice session as realistic as the exam will be. You need to get confident in solving blocks one after the other. Solving one block needs to become a habit. It needs to be a piece of cake. So do all the UL questions once is enough, but make sure to go through all the wrong and flat questions once again. So please, if you take something from this video, then keep this. Focus on solving blocks of questions in test mode. Then number six is do not hesitate to ask for help. If you have any doubts on what resources to use, how to get started, or even if, if you have already started but are not sure if the path that you are following is the right one, then get a tutor. They will solve your doubts and keep you on track. I know tutoring can be really expensive, but you will not regret it. Tutors have experienced the exam and know exactly how to prepare you for it. It is worth getting a tutor to save you time and help you achieve the score that you want. And last tip number seven is, do not overdo it with caffeine. Everybody loves caffeine and it is so easy to take that sip. But think of this, you will be sitting on that chair for eight hours. That's a marathon, not the 100 meter race. You need to be constantly awake. So divide your caffeine through your day and take it accordingly. From my experience, in the morning you feel so stressed that you don't even need coffee and it might make you feel worse. Also, it will make you visit the restroom sooner. That's true about water as well. In the morning you feel so fresh that you don't want to spend your time going to the restroom. You want to take two or even three blocks without a break. So leave your coffee for later on, after lunch. And since we are talking about drinks, let me tell you about the food preparation as well. Take nothing sweetened. You don't want to spike off your insulin because then you will fall asleep. Take a banana and you will be fine. Don't think of it too much because you will be so focused on the exam that you won't need much food. In the end, the step to exam is a sacrifice. You get to sacrifice those night out so you can keep track of your study plan. And is it worth it, dedicating a few months of studying to achieve the score you want? I spent three months alone abroad so I could focus and prepare for the step two exam. And believe me, it is worth it. I did it once and I will have done it again. I never regret it and you won't regret it either. And it is not just a score, it is a fulfillment. You get to achieve a goal that gives you true happiness and confidence. So every time you feel down or have any doubts that you won't make it, try to remind yourself of all the joy and pleasure you get after crushing step two. And remember that everyone faces difficulties during the step two preparation. We are not the only one. Believe in yourself and you can make it. So these are my seven tips. Do not underestimate the exam, make a study plan, do not procrastinate and stick to your plan, take a self-assessment early on, Focus on solving questions in time mode. Ask for help, a tutor, and do not over drink caffeine. I hope you found these tips helpful and if you need a study plan, then go ahead and watch this video right here where I share my 13 week study plan. So thank you for watching, good luck with your exams and see you next time.